Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this Gospel Reflection for this Thursday in the first week of our Advent season. And today we also celebrate the life of St. Ambrose. So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from Matthew chapter 7, verse 21, and then verses 24 to 27. Jesus said to his disciples, It is not those who say to me, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the person who does the will of my Father in heaven. Therefore, everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible man who built his house on rock. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew, and hurled themselves against that house, and it did not fall. It was founded on rock. But everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a stupid man who built his house on sand. Rain came down. Floods rose, gales blew, and struck that house, and it fell, and what a fall it had. The Gospel of the Lord. As I mentioned in the introduction, today we celebrate the life of St. Ambrose. Ambrose was, was born in Trier, now in Germany, between 337 and 340. He was born to a Roman family. His father was Praetorian Prefect of Gaul. Ambrose was educated at Rome and embarked on the standard path for Roman advocates and administrators. About the year 372, he was made prefect of Liguria and Emilia, whose capital was Milan. In 374, the bishopric of Milan fell vacant and when Ambrose tried to pacify the conflict between the Catholics and the Arians over the appointment of a new bishop, the people turned on him and demanded that he become the bishop himself. Ambrose was a layman and not yet baptised, but that was no defence. Coerced by the people and by the emperor, he was baptised, ordained and installed as bishop within a week on the 7th of December, 374. He immediately gave his money to the poor and his land to the church and set about learning theology. He had the advantage of knowing Greek which few people did at that time. And so he was able to read the Eastern theologians and philosophers, as well as those of the West. He was assiduous in carrying out his office, acting with charity to all, a true shepherd and a teacher of the faithful. He was unimpressed by status, and he also wrote a number of hymns which are still in use today. Ambrose was a key figure in the conversion of St. Augustine to Catholicism, impressing Augustine by his intelligence and scholarship. Ambrose died on Holy Saturday, the 4th of April, in the year 397. And so today we pray. 
St. Ambrose, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our Advent journey. Till then, take care and God bless. Thank mm -hmm. you.